Okay, now I want to just kind of walk you through the definition of inverse functions via a cartoon. So if you take an inverse or an input x, and we plug that into a function f of x, which is drawn like a machine here, then you get the output of f of x. And if you feed that output into this red machine, f inverse, then what you get is f inverse of f of x. And the definition of inverse function says that f inverse is the function that undoes f. So when you compose them, you get the identity, or you just get x. Okay, so that's by definition, it's a function that's undoing f. And if you flip the order, and you take x and feed it to f inverse, then the output's going to be f inverse of, of x. And if you feed that into that blue machine, which is the function f, then you get f of f inverse of x. And again, because inverses are undoing each other, f of f inverse of x is equal to x by definition. And so since functions are the building blocks of computer programs, and I always tell my students that, you can see how this might be handy to be able to undo um, something that you did in a previous function. Okay, that's it. Thanks for your time.